What's good, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling, and today we making crawfish etouffee with me, AB. That's right, you guys read it, now you heard it, and it's going down. Crawfish etouffee. Hey, it is pronounced etouffee. So listen, if you guys been watching me, you know you've been checking out my channel, you know I talk about taking the mystery out of uh, this cooking. Listen, it's all about the meal prep. Listen, this right here has a 20 minute prep time. And the reason it takes just that long is because we got to chop up some veggies, get these, you know, onions and your bell peppers and things of that nature. You got to get everything lined out, get them in your bowls. That makes it super easy, as you will see. And then listen, the cook time only 15 minutes. So listen, that's 35 minutes. And after that, you'll be sitting down, staring across, looking at somebody in their eyes. Y'all having a great meal. And if you like me, you know what? We're going to do that. And we're going to sit in front of that TV and we're going to watch one of these games, whether it be basketball, football, whatever. So listen, that's crawfish etouffee. Let's get right into this video. All right, let's go over the uh, ingredients. Look, we start off, you got the W sauce. We got one tablespoon of that. Hot sauce, you know, two to three dashes of Louisiana or Tabasco. And then we got chicken stock. We're gonna put in two cups, either chicken stock or chicken broth. And then here you use your cake, your favorite Cajun seasoning, one tablespoon. Then for your flour, you're gonna have two tablespoons of that. And then you got a quarter cup of your green onions. That's for your garnish. Okay, you got bell peppers. You can a half a cup of those. You can use green or red. We got onions, one cup of diced. And then here we got our diced tomatoes. These are fire roasted, and that's a half a cup. There you see celery, you got a half a cup of the celery, and then you got three tablespoons of butter. And now that's the uh, bay leaf, you know, about just like a regular size bay leaf. And here's the star of the show, we got crawfish. About three quarters of a pound, or a pound should be good. Now, you wanna melt your butter in a large skillet. You know, of course I'm using a pan right here, but listen, if you got a cast iron skillet, that'd be ideal. What you want is, you know, like when your uh, veggies and everything starts to adhere to the bottom of the skillet, you know what, that's your flavor. But right now we just want to melt our butter. You know, we want to get, you know, start with like a medium to high heat. And then we want to wait until the edges start to turn brown. And if you look right there in the center, you can see it's starting to turn brown. And once that happens, then that's when you want to go ahead and start adding your veggies. Now, listen, I'm putting in the celery and you'll see that I come back with the uh, bell peppers. If you would like, most people will probably put in their onions now. For me, since I've made this so many times, I put my onions in, you know, a little later in the process. But if you want to saute your onions, go ahead and just put them in there right now. You know, and then listen, after it's been cooking for about three to five minutes and your veggies get soft, go ahead and add your Cajun seasoning to it. And just go ahead and just like cook it, let it absorb all of those flavors. And you just want to continue on. And then listen, once you see that it's all mixed, cook good. Look at that color right there. That's what you're looking for. Now, once that's combined and, you know, it's been cooking for about, like I say, about maybe about four to five minutes. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle in our flour. Now, we had two tablespoons, so we want to put in like maybe one tablespoon now, you know, stir it around, mix it. We don't want it to get all clumpy. And then you want to go ahead and just add the rest of it into your, uh, your veggie mix and just go ahead and just cook it, you know, cook down some of that, uh, that flour taste. And again, you just don't want it to clump up. So keep it moving, you know, let it absorb some of that butter some of that veggie flavor man that right there and listen if you're using a cast iron skillet it's gonna get some of that off at the bottom listen i'm telling you that's your flavor now that we worked in our flour you know along with our, our veggies and absorbed all of the butter then we want to go ahead and just start to stir to stir in our tomatoes and then listen we're gonna cook until the juices begin to you know like sort of like brown on the bottom of the pan that should take about three to four minutes after that then we're gonna whip you know go ahead and add our chicken broth you know into the veggie mixture and then we're gonna stir until it becomes smooth and then listen that's when we're gonna start looking at it and we're gonna keep stirring it under this medium to high heat and it's gonna start to thicken up just watch now once we add our chicken broth you know to the whole mixture what we want to do is we want to do, you know continue stirring it and then we want to you know bring it back to a simmer and then we're going to cook it until it starts to thicken up and listen that's when it's going to become like you know it's up to you however thick you want it to be you might want it to be a little bit thick like on the uh, gravy side but you know what i like it between that and like a decent brew and okay now here you see this is when i add my uh my onions to it and this is the way i like it i like my onions to have just a little bit of a bite to it you know what but again 
in the beginning when you were sauteing your other veggies you can add them in there you can do them that way or you can do it this way this is the way i like it they still soften up but they have a little bit more of a bite to it and if you see it right there okay now you see that i just added the uh, w sauce to it you want to just keep stirring it but i just want to know if you guys can see that right there it's starting to thicken up listen we're just going to keep it cooking keep it moving and there we are adding a few dashes of that hot sauce to it that give it that little kick you know so listen keep it moving you know and just look at it it's starting to thicken up and it's getting right and there you go once you got it to the you know your desired thickness you know consistency and then it's time to go ahead and add your crawfish now here's a pro tip you got to remember crawfish is like lobster and it's like shrimp they cook fast so make sure you have your root you know to your desired thickness and then when you go ahead and add your crawfish to it or shrimp once you add it you only want to cook it for about five minutes you know what i mean it's going to absorb everything and listen i will tell you this it will be better the next day you know what everything's better the next day once it absorbs everything but this right here you just want to cook it once i brought it back up to a boil i reduced my actually i went ahead and just turned off the fire i stirred it up and then it was time to plate and listen this right here goes great with some white rice now it's time to go ahead and just you know get it together you know in plate or should i say bowl look at that right there that right there is crawfish a etouffee so just wanted you guys to see it get your hopefully it's getting your uh your your, your mouth wet and there you have it there it is right there again that's crawfish a etouffee ah so what you guys think about that there you know what this is just number two of this playlist that i'm getting ready to put together the first one was in which i'm gonna put an i card right up here somewhere you guys will be able to check that out if you haven't seen it already that's when i did the shrimp and grits and listen if you guys got a cool name and think you got something for me to uh label this this type of uh cooking you know as the playlist let me know in the comment section below that'll be hot one of you guys could name it too you know what let's all just vote on it and figure it out ourselves if you make any of these recipes you know what i got a website which should be running somewhere along here somewhere like that right listen go to my website and send me your pictures of any re uh, recipe that you made that i have made you know and maybe you just want to show it off brag or whatever i'll post it on my website if you're new to my channel let me take this time to go ahead and say hey welcome to my channel you know what glad you're here hope you like what you saw and if you like it i want you to don't don't forget to uh subscribe you know what subscribe like share this video i know i got this little red arrow arrow pointing somewhere on here talking about you know like and share hey listen do that and let everybody know there is a channel out here that's taking the mystery out of cooking and making it super easy you know what and with that being said you guys to everybody else you know what thank you and i'm out peace